Hey guys, me Adam Man here. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery on your Mazda remote. Uh, these remotes are used in newer Miatas, Mazda 3s and Mazda 5s and possibly others as well. And I'm going to show you how to get it apart, how to change the battery and how to put it back together. So I'm going to start with a large paper clip or a trombone paper clip as people call them. And we're going to open up the key like that. And in here, you can see that little, there's a little slot here and you want to push the paper clip into that. So that's on it right now. So I'll line it up like that. And what you want to do is you want to push that in with a little bit of force and then sort of pull this up with your thumb as you're doing it. And by doing that, what you're doing is actually pushing down on this little catch here. So when we're putting that in, we're releasing this catch like that. And that's allowing this to slide out from here. Once you have the key head removed like that, you find the slot right here. And on here, there's a little triangle and that little triangle right there. It's hard to see in certain lights, but it is there. And that points to that little slot. And all you do is you take your screwdriver and put it in and just twist it. And it just pries the lid up. Then you can just pull the lid off like that. And there's your battery right there. So next we're going to pry the battery out. There it goes. And on the bottom here, you'll notice that there's a plus sign. So that means that that battery, uh, the writing on the top of the battery is the positive side and it has a plus sign. So you want to turn that side down to face that. The battery is a, a three volt 1620. So it's a CR1620 battery that you're going to need to get. And that's it right there. And there's the little plus sign. So when we reinsert the battery, we're going to make sure that that is facing downwards. And I'm going to click that in like so. And then reattach the lid. And it just clips back on. Just like that. And then we'll just clip it back together. And you're all done. And then after you're done, give it a little test the buttons to make sure that the red light lights up. There we are. If the car's nearby and you hit the lock button twice, it should honk the horn on the car as well. So there you are. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. If there's any other videos you'd like to see, let me know. And please also hit the like button and the subscribe button, and I'll make more videos for you soon.